hello and welcome to another new video of step by step instructions for making a GUI for our ABAP module pool programming list part 2 in this video we will add a menu into our GUI status and uh, step by step we will cover all the things and uh, find how we can add a menu to our GUI status first of all uh, write uh, write the uh, name of the menu bar as a test and then uh, double click on the name mm, on the name test if you write name uh, of the menu is uh, test menu so you will have to double click on the test menu word so then it can uh, it can go to the uh, detail option of menu here you can see uh, and there are application toolbar and function keys and above all there are menu bar so in menu bar we and uh, there are uh, some white boxes uh, where we first uh, write the list and this in the second white box we write edit and the third right box we write code to it's mean all these uh, all these items will create a separate menu um, a menu bar just like windows and other applications so if you wish to create a menu item with a break breakout sub menu leave the entry in the function column blank and type a menu item name in the name column then type a function code in the breakout menu which appears for example uh, we create two button uh, we create two button here item x and item one and uh, item sorry item x and item y uh, both are the push buttons and as we already discussed push button in our previous uh, previous uh, video you can watch uh, and understand what are the how we can add push button in gi status so here uh, here all the uh, here when we click on the list uh, list word it will open all the items of the menu with its code we will have to define uh, text of a uh, text of every item of menu uh, with the with its code uh, on the left side we define code and on the right side we named uh, our item just like print we give pri uh, to the uh, to to the button to the option menu option of uh, print and uh, for item x and item y we give run x and run y uh, code uh, you can uh, point and you can also note it down that if we want uh, any further sub menu we have to write uh, only in the text in the white bo white box only the text mm, for example here we use save slash send of sub menu so we blank uh, we blank uh, uh, the code of this item so then the system automatically understand that it is a sub menu uh, here are some detail of uh, the thing we have created click on the same menu when you created a function code run x and run y you should uh, you specify the quick info menu text this text now automatically appear in the column directly to the right of your menu items name click the generate button you must generate your GI your GI status test one has just been completed use the green back arrow to return to your code to view your GI status before executing the program use the user interface the test menu path or press the F8 key in the menu printer all these points mean that um, that if we want to use any uh, our menu uh, into the GIS status we must have to activate uh, or generate the GIS status before an exit 
and if you want to test our menu bar we should have to use a function key f8 uh, for testing the menu and after testing the menu we have to uh, we have to uh, click on to the back back arrow button to return to our code next thing is automatic recogni recognition of function code it's understood that uh, all the th uh, all the function code which we have given to all uh, menu bar items uh, will automatically uh, recognize and uh, system auto recognize uh, with respect to uh, function code which save into the uh, system variable we will explore it in later using at user command to detect function code uh, at user command always find the uh, the input the input version or the input action of the user uh, and it is stored the function code of uh, the input command um, into the variable syucom so in programming we use uh, syucom system variable to uh, assign or to uh, to way forward to our uh, program logic for example here we have created two button uh, x and y button x and button y so we want to uh, we want to um, do the do in the logic that when the user press button x the window will come um, will, which shows the message the user choose x and if the user enter uh, enter the button y the window will uh, will appear with the message the user choose y so in this way we can deal with the input of the user by using the at user command gs status for detail list do you notice the problem with this gs status no and the the missing thing is uh, is the access button so if we want if a user want to exit from the menu so we have to provide the close or exit button to every gis status like this uh, how does the user exit this window there should be a button on the bottom of the window that allow the user to go back for now just use the control menu box to close this window here is a here is a uh, this, is, this is a uh, menu this is a window close uh, option so we will uh, use right uh, for uh, this button right now next thing is using a different gis status type for dialog new and improved test to dialog box gis status automatically contain a red cancel button all the dialog box uh, which we uh, all the dialog box in web automatically have the uh, close or uh, cancel button now a report that uses more than one gis status code will use this th this thing of uh, code uh, like uh, at user command we uh, case as so you can when user press button uh, button x we can set the pf status test 2 and uh, which will which will have another uh, options or other uh, unusual options uh, like test one so you can also set pf status by using the sycam user input uh, according to the requirement the reports that use more than one gs status administrative some reports uh, using uh, using more than one gs status so 
this uh, this information are uh, for those who want to uh, add multiple status for a six single program so we have to give the status name short text and dialog box so uh, folks uh, all the things we have which we have discussed uh, in this video is all about the menu bar what are um, let's summarize the things uh, what are the uh, how many items or how we can add items and how we can configure items of menu bar uh, in it we explored at menu command we explored uh, windows starting at windows ending and we have explored um, all the things uh, required for creating a menu bar uh, bye for now uh, we will meet into another exciting video thank you